sat within an industrial estate in Bursko, Lancashire, is a garage that houses a large group of buses that are currently under restoration and being preserved by the Merseyside Transport Trust. Nestled within the confines amongst the buses also lies a train. This is what remains of a two-car Class 502 electric multiple unit, formed of motor car 28361 and driving trailer 29896. In August 1939, these LMS-designed units were delivered to Mel's Cop Works for commissioning. Full introduction of the fleet was delayed slightly, however, due to the outbreak of war. The rollout was fully complete by 1941, and the first-generation electric stock dating from 1914 was replaced. The 502s consisted of 39 three-car sets. In order to strengthen busier services, this was supplemented by additional two-car units that were only fitted with a driving camp at one end. The trains were built using the most advanced standards of the time. Notably, they were equipped with automatic sliding doors controlled by the guard, instead of the manually operated slam doors which were still the norm elsewhere on the main line. Each motor car had four 230 horsepower motors supplied by the English Electric Company. The units had a top speed of 70 miles an hour, which was easily achieved on the gentle gradients of the Southport and Ormskirk lines. Following cutbacks and a decline in services in the 1960s, some of the 502s were rebuilt and reformed as two car sets. By 1978, the first of the brand new Class 507s arrived on order from York. Over the next two years, the 502s were gradually withdrawn. The final example survived until September 1980. Two eight three six one and two nine eight nine six were taken by the National Railway Museum. As there was a chance that the unit could run again, it was placed on extended loan to the Steamport Railway Centre at Southport, where the unit was completely overhauled in 1983. In 1986, the unit was repainted into LMS livery to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Mersey Railway. Following the celebrations, the unit was returned to Southport, where it remained until the museum's closure in 1997. Finding a new home for the unit hasn't been easy. With no space at the NRM York site, the 502 ended up in storage at MOD Kinnerton. Although Kinnerton was secure from vandals, there was no covered accommodation available. With lack of maintenance for many years, the bodywork rapidly deteriorated. In 2008, management at MOD Kinnerton gave notice to remove the 502 from the site. As a matter of urgency, the recently formed Friends of the 502 group started discussions with the NRM and in July of that year a long-term loan was agreed. After investigating many potential homes, the 502 was eventually moved to a site at T-Bay in Cumbria between the 28th and 29th of May 2009. By 2012 the site at T-Bay was taken over by a commercial organisation so the 502 was left homeless again. Fortunately, however, the Merseyside Transport Trust had enough space at this shed in Bursko, so in early March of that year, the train was moved to its present location. For the first time since being moved away from Steamport, the 502 is back in undercover storage. Presently, the main aim is to restore the train cosmetically. However, it is hoped that one day, the unit will once again eventually be restored to full working condition.